The village of Tala on the outskirts of Dublin is a developing township. I'm standing on the site of the Monastery of St. Moel de Rouen, and before that, there was a prehistoric settlement here. Tala is still developing, changing, and growing. Growing, it certainly is. Acres and acres of houses, people, quite suddenly planked down just beyond the southern suburbs of Dublin City. This is a new, new town. The people haven't been transferred from any part of old Dublin. Although there are 500 houses in a corporation scheme, 90% are private dwellings owned by people who've chosen to live here. Back in 1950, Tala used to be a small, compact country village of 350 souls, which by the mid-60s had grown to 3,000 and now has a population of 40,000. And that's only a third of what it will be in the 1980s. But it's not one big urban sprawl. Tala is the general name for this new town, but it's made up of various neighborhoods like Old Bourne and Kilnamana, each developing its own local characteristics and amenities. At least that's the way it was planned. Planned, did I say? Well, we'll see. At present, Tala seems to have got a reputation of being, to use that awful phrase, a concrete jungle. That view I put to the chairman of the Tala Welfare Society, Charlie O'Toole. I wouldn't think it was a fair picture. I would think it's a picture that has been built around it. Uh, I would, I'm looking back at the original plan for Tala when we saw it in the black church was inspected by a number of people from Tala, including myself, and we thought that particular plan looked and was a plan which would make an ideal town for Tala. It was then described as a model town. Uh, every item that was available uh, uh, at the time uh, was planned for it. Everything seemed to be in its proper place. There were plenty of open spaces. There were room for a swimming pool. We had sites for the library, we had health centres, we had schools, churches. And as we could see it, if that was the kind of town we were going to get, we were quite satisfied. Unfortunately, we, um, didn't, get we didn't get that. Not quite so, anyway. There is one large supermarket to cater for the whole of Tallinn. But of course, there are other neighbourhood shopping services also. When the new town was first conceived in 1970-71, Provision was made for shops as well as houses, but again there was a clash of interests. Although the swimming pool attached to the community school in Tala is available to the whole community of Tala, recreational facilities generally are limited. The old village hall where teenagers had a disco and which could also be used for other community purposes is no longer available. If you do want to go further afield for your needs, you'll probably have to queue in the rain for the very limited bus services. Apart from that, there are the pubs. Social life, it's, it seems to be the only social life in Tala at the moment. You know, for a drink, for a night out, you know, dancing, listen to the music, people getting up to sing. Well, we don't go drinking in town. If we were going dancing or for a meal or something, you'd have to go to town because there isn't anyone here. There's not enough for the younger people. There could be a lot more for the younger people. Annette, this is your birthday, is it? You live in Tala, do you? I do, yeah. And that's married? a complete surprise to me, I can tell you. You're married? I am. Yeah. Now, how do you like Tala? Oh, now, why do you great. come here to to enjoy yourself? Oh, we come here and we have a chat with all the neighbours and we enjoy ourselves. It's nice scenery. You have um, plenty of place to enjoy yourself. Um, I like living in Tala. 
near the mountains, from near Bornebrina, and it's fairly central, you know, as things are going now. I like living in Tallinn. Um, <laughs> come here because it's the only place in Tallinn that has cabaret dancing. Besides that, well, there's a couple of ladies' clubs in Tallinn, which I don't belong to, and there's some of these new slim fit clubs. So I said there's not much else in Tallinn besides houses, you know. For you are beautiful, and I have loved you dearly, more dearly than the spoken word can tell. For you are The plans for Tala looked very attractive when they were first laid out for public viewing in March 1971. Tala hasn't quite worked out like that.